Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Cory, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now, in this video, I do want to talk about the brand new update that's going to be coming to Red Dead Online here in just over a week. And I just briefly want to talk about the video that I dropped yesterday, letting everybody know that my, my honest opinion about the December update was going to be that we are getting a brand new role for Red Dead Online. And that is actually what is happening, which is absolutely amazing. And I really felt like Rockstar was going to be taking a direction where they were going to be not giving us as much information until like about a week before. And that they were going to be giving us one role at a time. And that's exactly what they have done. So let's go ahead and kind of break it down and what's going to be happening with the brand new update. Now they are continuing a new Frontier Pursuit, so the Frontier Pursuits are still in existence and we're just getting a new role inside of that uh, that Frontier Pursuit. So it's coming December 13th, that's what everybody uh, wants to know is when is it coming. A lot of people thought it was going to be coming today and obviously it would have been nice if it was dropping today. But there was no information on it so I really didn't anticipate it being today. So. Now that it's coming out next week, and it's coming out on, I believe, it's Friday the 13th this month, and that will be kind of interesting that that's going to be coming out on a Friday. It's a big update for a game like this doesn't usually happen on a Friday, so that's actually really interesting that that's happening the way that it is anyway, but Friday the 13th makes sense. However, um, I didn't see anything regarding the other thing that I had briefly mentioned about, which was the snow. And unless they're going to be doing that at some other time or maybe even later in the month, which is very possible. But let's just kind of break this thing down and kind of go over it a little bit. And I'll give you guys a little bit of my thoughts in the process. So let's go ahead and get started right now, shall we? So a lot of information can be found on Rockstar's Newswire. So if you guys want to go over there, check it out for yourselves, you definitely can. Otherwise, uh, for the most part, just check out the gameplay that I have in the video for you guys. But if you guys are enjoying these types of videos, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. And also, don't forget to hit that bell so you guys get notified each and every single time that I do drop a video just like this one. And a quick side note, we have a lot of other content regarding Red Dead Online here on the channel, as well as other games that I do play. So definitely check those out. Um, and if you guys have a funny clip regarding any of the Frontier Pursuits, anything with Red Dead Online, or another game in general, and you just want to submit those clips to somebody and want to be featured here on YouTube, then definitely go over to my website, which is GamerCorey.com, because I do want to get a montage of a few different uh, clips put together in the very near future. So I need your help in order to get that, that done, and you guys will get credit for it as well. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into the brand new pursuit. So it is going to be uh, Moonshiners, which uh, I, I really did anticipate this one. There was a lot of other roles that they could have come up with. Um, they've, you know, they've talked about even like a photography. They've talked about like, um, you know, a different like factory worker, but there was already like the trader. Now this is very, very, very similar to the trader. And you actually have to be a trader in order to be introduced to the... Uh, the character that you need to meet in order to start your business as a moonshiner. So that's uh, that's actually kind of interesting. So the one thing that they had mentioned before is that the the roles that are currently out. The one, I'm, I'm saying this before December the 13th. So the trader, the collector, and also the bounty hunter were going to be some of the roles that were going to be built on by other roles. So. That you, the, the, those are going to be kind of the base. And I always have said that I feel like everybody needs to get all three of the current roles, all three of the original roles for uh, the Frontier Pursuits in order to really progress here in Red Dead Online. And that seems to be the, the, the case even with the Moonshiners. Because like I mentioned, you have to be that uh, a trader and get to a certain level prior to getting this role unlocked. So anyway, let's go ahead and break it down. Uh, in an America not fully governed by law, opportunity abounds for the lawless. Wide open space, ready and waiting for the ruthless and ambitious to carve a new future for themselves. How better to make your fortune than to become a black market moonshiner? An all new frontier pursuit coming to Red Dead Online on December the 13th. Establish your own bootlegging business in the brand new specialist role. 
an ideal fit for players progressing along the trader path, like I mentioned earlier, or anyone seeking a property to call their own. Unlike unlock unique role specific skills as you as you perfect your distillation methods uh, avoid the law and put rival peddlers out of business if you're lucky you might survive long enough to open your own speakeasy now that is really cool because uh we're actually it's an actual property now and so the camp moving along um i mean the collector doesn't have a specific area i mean i guess the closest thing would be the locations of the collectibles, but Mad Mazar moves around every single day. The bounty bounty boards are always in the same locations, but there's no like home except for the camp, but the camp moves too. You can move it. And even when you choose like say the Heartlands, there's a lot of different Heartland opportunities for your camp to actually be placed. So actually having the opportunity to own your own speakeasy and having a physical location all the time would, would be really cool. Now I'm not sure where it's going to be, I guess we'll just have to find that out when the update does come. And trust me, I do plan on bringing a lot of the update to you guys when it is released in just over a week. Now, any active trader who has completed a cell mission or reached level rank 5 in the trader progression will receive an introduction via Crips to meet the infamous Maggie Feek. Feek? Fike? Something like that. Uh, an experienced bootlegger with the scars to prove it down at Emerald Ranch. Maggie's got the connections and the knowledge to help you get your business up and running. Purchase a moonshining shack. So we get a shack to start out with and you'll be on your way. To passers-by, the shack is an unassuming dwelling. The main floor acting as a front with all the details of an ordinary homestead. The basement, however, is where you ultimately get down to business, which is awesome. So we're, we actually kind of get a homestead and then we're starting the bootlegging business in the basement which is cool illegal black market selling of bootlegging nice um yeah that's I, I honestly that's pretty cool i'm super excited to get my hands on this next week to play it with you guys and bring a lot of bring a lot of content here to youtube but we still have a little bit more to go over here and i'm going to give you guys all of my impressions um, about it and then obviously when the video or when the release actually comes and I can actually play it um, then uh, You know I'll bring I'll bring actual first impressions about it as well Now the one thing that I'm just briefly gonna slow down here for a second. It doesn't really say It just says that you get to it, it you have to purchase a moonshine moonshining shack, but it doesn't tell us how much it's going to be now in yesterday's video I did kind of go out on a limb and say that I thought it was going to be 15 gold bars just because that's what the other roles have been, but I'm not so sure right now um, because, well, it doesn't honestly say, so it could still be the 15 gold bars and it would make a lot of sense that it would still be 15 gold bars, but maybe this is actually a monetary investment because it's more of a homestead versus an actual role purchase or like a license purchase i don't i really don't know what to think about it yet so it, i mean it still could go either direction but it still would make a lot of sense to have that 15 gold bars um to purchase the shack and starting your moonshining business so owning and operating the moonshining business is just part of the role you'll also work with maggie through a series of story missions to be played solo or cooperatively as you help her get revenge on those who tried to make or tried to take her down as you grow the business and, an, and eliminate a rival operation, so as you grow and eliminate a rival operation, that's interesting how they put that in there, you'll learn new recipes and techniques to help make your moonshine the best by a country mile. You'll also have the opportunity to set up your own underground bar serving your own shine with customizable decor and an option to add a country band complete with dance floor to entertain your friends and clientele. That is awesome. I'm super pumped about that. So look for the much more to come on to Red, Red Dead Online aside the Moonshiners on December the 13th, including Outlaw Pass number two, which we talk, briefly talked about in yesterday's video as well. Um, I'm guessing that will be 35 gold bars, just like the last one was with the opportunity to make those 35 gold bars back. If it's anything like the last one and how easy it was, um, it took me less than, it was barely over two days of game playing to not even full days. Like it was probably 
a few hours worth of game playing. I would probably say like eight hours, and I was able to get to level 70, if that, to be honest. Um, new shoe, there's new Moonshiner roll unlocks. Uh, the new Navy Revolver, which is a brand new revolver coming to Red Dead Online starting on December the 13th. And additional clothing options as an increase in the amount of outfit slots for your wardrobe, which is awesome. I'm super pumped about this one. Number one is that we get to be a moonshiner. I mean, who doesn't want to own their own bootlegging business? Come on, let's be realistic. And that makes perfect sense for the time frame of, of the game that it's set in. And then obviously we're going to get our hands on all law pass number two. Um, it's going to have its own, you know, breakdown of things that we can actually get um, and new clothing options that we'll be able to, to win, I guess, or unlock by getting some of those by purchasing the outlaw pass so i do anticipate that still being 35 gold bars however with it being as easy as it was for the outlaw pass number one i actually anticipate that either there's going to be more empty spaces between some of the ranks in instead of on the in, instead of there being like 70 there might be like 100 and then 30 of those so might be might be blank opportunities something like that i, I just thought it was way too easy considering that I was able to do it in under two days or just over two days or whatever it was of game playing. So anyway, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, uh, I, I like the fact that we're going to be able to um, have uh, an underground bar serving our own shine uh, with a customizable decor. Now, the, uh, the only thing that I'm, you know, I mentioned earlier that I felt like it was going to be like its own place. Now, do we get to pick the place that we want it to be at? Or is everybody going to have the same place, kind of like Grand Theft Auto? Is it going to be... You know, hey, this is where the bunker is at. And these are the options that you get to choose from. So, you know, then everybody goes there for their bunker or whatever it might be. I'm, that's kind of the way that it's going in my mind, but I really don't know. If you guys have any thoughts about how you think that the underground bar serving your own shine is actually going to be working out. I like the fact that we're going to be able to customize the decor as well. So that's gonna be really awesome and then also add a country band complete with dance floor to entertain friends and clientele that's awesome but if you guys have like any any input and what your thoughts are about the underground bar please leave a comment down below i would love to hear what you guys think about first of all this brand new role that's coming to red dead online are you super excited to be continuing playing it or and or is there something that you would like to see different added to red dead online instead of the moonshiners rule let me know in the comments down below but anyway that is all the time that i have for today's video that is all the information that rockstar has given us completely from rockstar so that's awesome um and i will be bringing a lot of content once this update happens on december the 13th and i can't wait to start playing this uh update with you guys here in the very very near future but if you guys did enjoy the video in any way, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys, stay gaming.